Hi guys, we have a case of 60 year old male with acute abdominal pain. Uh, let's quickly scroll down to see if anything catches our eyes in the lung basis. Uh, I don't know, some opacity here, some edulexis in the basis. I didn't see a big consolidation, pleural effusion or pneumothorax. Let's go down to ab abdomen and pelvis. The liver looks okay, gallbladder looks okay, spleen, pancreas. There's a bunch of right renal cysts. I didn't see a hydronephrosis or a big stone. Let's keep going down on the right lower quadrant around the area of appendix. Uh, I didn't see the appendix right now, but I didn't see much. But as I keep going down more, these loop of balls look abnormal. For example, if you compare to how these loops of bowel, the wall is enhancing to this, there's lack of bowel wall enhancement. On top of that, there's fatty stranding in the mesentery. So these ball loops do appear abnormal. Uh, there is small amount of ascites down here in the pelvis. Now let's try to look at it in coronal view to see what we see. So again, this is one of the loop of the ball. There's abnormal, there's other loops here. And anytime you do see this C-shaped loop of ball with edema in the mesentery, you have to think about the possibility of closed loop obstruction. What a closed loop obstruction is that you have a loop and there's something that causes obstruction here. It could be adhesions, it could be volvulus. There's something also called internal hernia. Internal hernia is, uh, let's see, I thought there was a picture here. Internal hernia is, for example, here. So this is defect and then the bowel kind of loops in through there and then you have closed loop obstruction. So the main thing you want to find in a closed loop obstruction is that you do see two loops of bowel with the sign is called bird beaking. So it just narrows and widens, narrows and widens, and they should be pretty close to each other. So if you see that, then that's pretty convincing for, well, that is the finding for closed loop obstruction. Um, let's go back to our case. So this C-shaped is concerning for closed loop. Let, let's see if we can find the bird beaking by following this loop of bowels. So right here, I find something where, yeah, this loop of bowel narrows, bird beaks in, in other word, and here the ball is now enhancing normally. I don't know if this is more proximal ball or distal ball, but here it's normal. And after this bird beaking, it's abnormal. Now the other loop of ball should be pretty close to here. Let's see if I can find it. The other one is right here. So right here it's abnormal. Here, there's fecalization of the contents. And you have a bird beaking right here, coming this way. And this is the abnormal loop of the bowel. So this is what's happening here. So this is distal bowel. This is, from here is the proximal bowel. The proximal bowel is dilated and because the contents are not moving through, there's some fecalization of the content here. And this is, and this is the proximal bowel. And after this is the distal bowel and the distal bowel is normal. So let me see if I can show it in a different plane. So that's the one bird beaking. So this is the proximal most bowel. Um, up here, there's stasis and fecalization of the interior content. Down here is when the obstruction starts. And if I go down here, now there's yeah, there's still a little bit, the ball loop here is not as abnormal as maybe down here, but we start to see the, the gradual loss of enhancement. And let's see if I can follow it. So I go down here. Uh, around here, it's hard to follow because the ball loops all blend in but this was one and then the other one was right here. So, so from here, this is the proximal ball loop. 
and this is the distal so the area that these ball loops are being pinched off is right here to here so imagine there could be adhesion going here and this is proximal and then this is like the mid portion where you know this ball loop ball loop ball loop comes out here and this is the distal ball loop so this is a closed loop obstruction with abnormal enhancement of the bowel loop concerning for um, ischemia thank you for watching the video